Okay guys, today we're going to talk about the Ballard score. Um, the Ballard score is a standardized test um, used to determine gestational age. Um, it's going to determine the maturity of the central nervous system and the physical um, maturity. So let's get this baby on a table and assess. Okay guys, now we've got the baby on the table. Um, okay, if the baby starts getting restless, we need to let it rest before we move into this. But the first, there's two parts of the Ballard score, okay? Um, the first is fetal muscle tone. So first, you want the baby supine on the table, and you want to notice their resting position. So this baby, is um, its arms are flexed, not not completely, but they're flexed, so you'll look at the table and you'll, you'll give points based on the flexion. There's pictures that show you. Um, his legs are not fully flexed, um, so he's a little, like he's restless, so he's not, I wouldn't call him flaccid, but, and he's not fully extended, he's somewhere in the middle, so I would give him probably a score of a three, okay? Next, we are going to look at, it's called the square window, and this is looking at the wrist, okay? You want to take your baby's wrist, and full-term babies, their wrist should go all the way down to zero degrees, so there should be no space here. This baby, his um, angle is about 90 degrees, so this would be a score of zero, okay? We can already kind of assume that maybe this baby's a little premature. Um, then we go to arm recoil, okay? So you are going to take your baby's arms and hold them down for about five seconds in extension. And then when you let go, see what the arms do. Do they recoil? His did. And then the difference between a, um, three points and four points is the strength of the recoil. So, he recoiled, I would give him a two. All right, so next we have the popliteal angle. So this is when we wanna take the baby's leg and we want to uh. press the thigh to the abdomen. So as far as you can go without lifting the pelvis and the back off the table. So once we've, we've gone as far as we can, then we wanna measure this angle that the knee joint makes. Um, this baby, what's this angle? It's almost 90 degrees, so um, that's a four. That's four points for that. Um, next, we have scarf sign. This is where we want to keep the shoulder on the table, and we're going to reach across and see um, how much flexion we get here. Where is the elbow in relation to the midline? Um, this elbow is, this elbow is right at midline. Um, so we're going to give two points for that. Good job, baby. Uh, okay, then the last part of this, the, the fetal muscle tone assessment is heel to ear. So, gonna, again, keeping the pelvis in the back on the table, bring the heel to the ear. This baby does not like this. This is not, not uh, gonna get many points for this one. No, oh, he's gonna get four points, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, okay, just a note guys, because this gets a little confusing. Um, some of these assessments on the fetal muscle tone that you're doing, um, you're gonna give four points for, and that's good, that means term, that's, you know, full flexion, like with the wrist. If the wrist is fully flexed and you have zero degrees, that's gonna be four points, and that's a full term baby. Whereas, like the heel to ear, um, you're gonna give four points, but that is gonna indicate a preterm baby. So, that can get a little confusing. Just wanted to clear that up. All right. Second part of the Ballard scoring is physical maturity. This is a physical observation of traits that are going to indicate um, the gestational age. So first we want to assess the skin. Um, this baby has firm, um, smooth skin. He's not translucent. We don't see a lot of veins. So that's a good thing. 
um, I will give him a four. Um, okay, then you're gonna look at Lanugo. Remember Lanugo is that fine hair. Um, some Lanugo is okay. This baby has abundant Lanugo. So we are gonna give him a score of one for that. Then we go to the plantar surface. We wanna look at the bottom of the feet and see, um, does he have creases all over his sole, which he does. Oh, I think that tickled. <laughs> that all right, um, so that's gonna be a score of four. Next, we wanna look at the breast. His nipple is full, it's a full areola and raised. Good, uh, that's gonna be a score of four as well. Um, eyes and ears. So guys, the, the top of the ear should be in line with the eye, crease of the eye here. That's good, and when you pull the ear back, it should have a full recoil. Perfect. That would be a score of three. Um, finally is the genitals. We're gonna end this fellow score here and assume that this baby has descended to the uh, testicles and they are down. Good, Rugae, Rugae. Um, that'll be a score of three. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, now baby Howe, we've got them all wrapped up. I think he was a little cold on the table. He's happy now. Um, and I have added up the score. So when you're going through the ballot score, it's helpful if, you, if you're looking at the table um, to put X marks in the, in the score that you give the baby. Um, then you're gonna add them all up and there's a table that will tell you. Um, so we have determined that baby Howe is about 37 weeks. So his score came out to be 34. Um, and a score of 35 is 38 weeks, a score of 30 is 36 weeks, so he's somewhere in between there. We're going to go with 37. He may be 37 in three days. Um, so he's term, which is awesome. He's healthy and happy. Um, he has a lot of Lanugo, so we're just hoping that that's going to go away, you know, after time. Um, so yeah, you guys want to look at the table and... Use that for your assessment. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Baby Howe is a big old baby. If this one gave me five points, I don't know what does baby T. <laughs>